Okay, guys, you're going to love this one. I've called this the one finger scratch repair video because it's exactly that and it will save you money. It can save you money. So let's go. Too many YouTube channels talking for too long. So I'm going to get straight into it. Okay, we've all seen these guys now right above the door handles or anywhere on the car. You know, we've got these scratches. We can't polish them out. They're making the car look rubbish. What can we do? A few of them, they're really deep. Uh, you're not going to polish them out. No tea cut in the world is going to get them out. Um, so we need to do something else. So you're going to love this, guys. I don't know why it's not on YouTube, but I'll be the first. Okay, so we've got some paint on a finger, and we're rubbing it into the scratch. Surely it can't be that simple. Well, yes, it is. And the beauty of this is, this isn't even the right paint for the car. It's not the exact match or anything. It's a, it's a close match. It's just a red uh, that looks a lot like the body color, but not perfect. It doesn't really matter. I always go a little bit darker as well if I have to. Um, yeah, so we've just rubbed that into the scratch. Now, that's, the damage is on the front and the rear door. So you're going to be seeing both panels. This is the rear door. It's got the same kind of scratches. There's probably more on the rear door. But on the front door, there's a couple of slightly deeper ones. Okay, so it's solvent paint. It's pretty much neat. It's not thinned down. I am applying it with my finger. It might be advisable to wear gloves. I find it does work slightly better when you use it on a bare finger as opposed to a glove. But if you want to wear gloves, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so I'm just applying a very, very, very small amount, a tiny, tiny little drop on my finger, not as much as on the uh, thumbnail picture. Uh, it's a tiny, tiny amount, and I'm just literally rubbing it and caressing it into those scratches. Rub it in only as long as needed, i.e. when it starts to solidify, stop rubbing. Uh, it, don't do it in direct sunlight because the paint's going to dry too quickly. Um, just, just as you can see, as I'm demonstrating, you know, just a tiny, tiny amount, rub it into each individual scratch. Don't leave too much excess on there. It's pretty straightforward. I can't really tell you how to do it. You can see how to do it on the video. Okay. Then the other great thing about this is we haven't got all these amazing tools, these amazing polishers and rotaries and all these orbital sanders. Let's just say we've got a drill exactly as I'm showing in the video. Um, it's a drill with a backing pad, three inch backing pad and drill adapter spindle. Now, if you're in the UK, definitely check out Paint Gear, www.paintgear.co.uk. I'll put a link in the description, but you can get these drill adapter backing pads off Amazon, for example. So really easy, really cheap, really accessible. Um, the rub and buff system that Paint Gear sell comes with the backing pad and it also comes with the orange buffing pad as well now it's a cutting pad and we're using a cutting paste or a cutting compound whatever paste or compound or liquid you use make sure it's got some high to medium hot medium to high heavy cut um if it's a finishing polish it probably won't work as well because what we need to do we need to remove the excess off the panel Okay, so once I've let the panel cool down, because it does warm up when we're buffing it, um, I'm just applying a very, very, very small amount again to a couple of the deeper scratches. Uh, I'd probably recommend doing this perhaps three times on certain car manufacturers. I usually only do it twice because don't forget, when we are buffing a localised area, we are removing some of the clear coat. Okay, so I'll just give that another hit in the same area. Obviously, I'm leaving the paint, perhaps, depending on temperature and where you are and what time of, time of year it is. Um, I'm leaving it probably two minutes for it to dry, not long at all. You know, we're not waiting hours or days. And as you can see, look at that. That's looking absolutely fantastic. Okay, so the front door... Less scratches, but more deep scratches where somebody's caught them with the fingernails or rings. So this is after the first application. Now I'm just trying to get that last scratch out. It's probably improved the whole area by, what, 80, 85, 90%. So already it's an amazing result. Um, I'm just seeing if I can get that last bit out. Obviously this method has got its limitations. Uh, I'm trying to keep this channel really realistic. We can all make videos of stuff that looks like it works but doesn't 
Um, this isn't what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to save you guys money. I'm trying to save you guys time. I'm trying to show you, you know, what can be done, what can be done with a very small amount of tools and equipment. So as you can see on this door, just for a bit of variation, I'm using my large rotary polisher, um, which is absolutely fine. Obviously, it's a bit more cumbersome and you'll probably prefer to use a smaller drill and a smaller pad. Uh, that's entirely too. I just thought I'd show a bit of variation. So I haven't quite got that completely out. You know, I'm being completely honest, but look at that. That is a absolutely huge improvement on what it was. And, you know, anybody's going to be happy with that. The the guy that I worked on this car, he was absolutely over the moon. He couldn't believe it. He thought I'd actually resprayed the panel, which I obviously haven't. Um, I'd probably say I got 90%, maybe 95 on the rear door. And other than that scratch on the front door, that was perhaps around 85%, which for what it cost and how long it took, you know, it's cost a couple of pounds or dollars and look at the results. It's awesome. And it, it you know what, it took about, what, 20 minutes in total. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's it. Please hit subscribe, comment, like, share. Thank you. I'll keep bringing you videos. I'll keep providing the content. Thanks for watching.